Hello, this is Manash Patel from the EII Capital Group. This, this is February 4th, 2012. This is our weekly Ichimoku analysis for the global markets where we cover everything from Europe to Asia to the U.S. Okay. So normal disclaimer to state this is for education use only. We're not soliciting you buy or sell anything at all. Uh, all charts you're going to see are from Thinkorswim from TD Ameritrade, TradeStation, or TC2000 from Warden Brothers, or we may just use freestockcharts.com from Warden Brothers too. Here are my contact details here, mpatel at eiicapital.com. Uh, you could access Twitter, Facebook, or anything like that, or any of our free videos at ichimukutrade.com. Okay, so let's go. And what we're going to do is we're going to first analyze the markets out there uh, and start with Europe, and then we're going to move forward. Remember, these are the weekly time frames. If you look at the Frankfurt market here, we finally got into the cloud. It's got an opportunity here to break out of the cloud, which is taking advantage of right now. So it's got a huge move up. If you look at these bars, it's what, three, four, five, six, seven, seven weeks of upward movement. It's trickling upward slowly with time. So that's being good for Europe uh, with time. So, you know, everything's still not resolved over there, but it's slowly trickling up. But it definitely is in a desperate need of a pullback now. And you can see here from the daily time frame also, it's moving up, 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 up. Uh, and it definitely needs to sit there and need to pull back now um, and moving forward but you know we kind of retrace this whole move almost of where it went down back in uh, July August which is interesting to see uh, that we've done that in a very short amount of time so if you shrink this chart down look at that you kind of re almost retraced everything up there uh, that we've sit there pretty much and gone down you can see it clear here from the weekly time frame so we're looking really good as far as the Frankfurt markets concerned um, let's go over the pairs. If you look at pairs, we're getting to a major resistance level at 3,500. It's not as strong as the German market, but does have the potential of getting above the cloud. Uh, but it still would definitely go uh, long on the uh, DAX market and short on the uh, Paris market as a Paris trade moving forward. London market here, you could see it is closed above the cloud for the first time after a very, very long time. So that's very good. So this is very strong compared to the German market too. Uh, it needs a little minor pullback before it could sit there and take off. If it does, the highest it could probably get to right now is going to be around 69.01 sorry 6909 which is the top of this consolidation pattern if it breaks that this thing's going to go start trying starting a trend which is going to be very interesting moving forward okay uh let's go and look at israel israel a little upward movement but really doing nothing as far as this etf is concerned just consolidating uh completely uh nothing at all there stockholm look at that it's just like the british market closed above the cloud now uh, so it looks good but it definitely needs to pull back if it could pull back a little to about 1000 and then has a potential of making a run if it does that then it's going to start a trend so we're going to definitely keep an eye on stockholm too um let's see what else we go let's go to south africa south africa you could see it's just like the uk market's broken out of the cloud closed above it that's great it definitely needs a pullback on the etf you need it to be around 62 50 or so to move forward uh turkey uh just really starting now just to break out but there's nothing really going on there it's just entering a consolidation pattern and at the top of the consolidation pattern right now too russia as you can see russia has done the same thing just broken out its major resistance level it's slowly moving up but does not really, definitely not starting a trend at all so it's not that strong moving forward uh let's go to shanghai shanghai Upward movement, not as strong as all the other world indexes, if you see that. Uh, it's really not moving at all. So the Chinese market is really struggling right now. It's at a major resistance level, uh, which is dealing with at this time. Hong Kong market, as you can see, is moving upwards. Still not above the cloud where the sentiment's going to change. But even this move right here is pretty strong. It's at a major resistance level right now. If it could pull back and then take it out, it's going to be strong moving forward. Japanese market, really nothing going on, just consolidating. The Bombay market is pushed upwards. It's getting to a major resistance level. It's going to get into close to a, about 18,000, uh, and it definitely needs to pull back too uh, in order to start trending. But it's basically in a consolidation pattern uh, between a huge 2,000, uh, about, yeah, 2,000 point range that you're looking at as far as the Bombay market. The Sydney market, really doing nothing just consolidating sideways and going no, doing nothing korean market you could see it's trying to come out of the cloud but not quite yet okay so now let's go over to the americas uh here's canada 
slowly moving up. It's at a major resistance level right now. Definitely needs to pull back. Notice all the world indexes, if they started, they've been trending for the last seven weeks. They need a pullback now, and it's def desperately needed. So if you're in these markets and you're trading long, please start tightening your stops or taking some stocks off and uh, taking some profits and stuff like that uh, because they are getting very overextended. So be very, very, very careful. Brazilian market, uh, look at that. After six 60,000, this thing hasn't looked back at all. It's gone to 65,000. Uh, definitely needs to pull back too. Uh, but it's almost retraced everything that this thing has moved down. And it's trying to get to 70,000, which is amazing. A lot of people thought that when the bubble busted here at 60,000 went below, this thing was going to tank hard. But look at it. It's making a huge move up uh, already. Uh, here's the Colombian market. Consolid, uh, push up, but it's running into the cloud, so it's at a major resistance level right now. Okay, so let's go over to the U.S. side. Remember, on your daily, uh, the left hand side is your daily chart. Right hand side is basically your weekly chart. If you look here, basically the Dow's been leading all the market indexes. Uh, Nasdaq has been some weeks, but overall, the Nasdaq, uh, sorry, the Dow has been winning. A lot of people have been put uh, moving all their money into the uh, the big caps, especially since they're offered dividends and stuff like that. So if you've seen a huge movement upwards, uh, it's at a major, major resistance level here now. You can see that's going back to 2011, beginning of 2011. So we're retesting that level right now. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, but. I'll be surprised if it could just break through that very easily. I would probably expect it to pull back, but you never know moving forward. But we're at a major resistance level, so definitely tighten up your stops or take some profits out the table. E-minis S&P 500s, we're definitely at a major resistance level here at 1341. And you can see the huge trend upwards here. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if it breaks that. If it breaks that, then it's going to get to 1366. And then after that, there's no more resistance levels for a while going upwards. So it's going to be interesting to see there. But the Dow is still very, very strong compared to the E-mini S&P 500. Now, the NASDAQ, this is now leading. If you look at this, even though the, this has been leading for the last couple of weeks, and the reason why is after it's broken this resistance level here, 2429, technology has taken off. And it's taken off huge. And you could see that it's broken all the major resistances, whereas the S&P and the Dow are just now getting to them. So the NASDAQ is taking off into a trend. And you could see that from all the major technology players out there, like the Cisco's, the Apple's, and stuff like that. And we'll get into those in just a minute. If you look at the, the TF, which is a Russell 2000, small caps as normal. January and February is a pretty much a seasonal pattern where small caps do really well. And you can see the huge push up. It's been trending there, but it's, it's still far away from these resistances back in 2011, which the NASDAQ has pretty much broken and the Dow and the S&P are right at it. So this is still lagging behind everything, but it's got a huge movement up percentage wise. This has been a great percentage movement moving forward. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at our heat map and we're going to look over to the Dow 30 and we're going to look at all the Dow 30 stocks today. And you could see here signals here are two, four, and five are trending, zeros, ones, and threes are counter trending. If they're five, it means it's overextended. And you could see a lot of these on the daily time frame here. Majority of all the Dow 30 stocks, if you look at the Dow 30 stocks here, majority of them, what are they doing? You can see a majority of them are green, okay? Only the second half are red, right? But look at the weekly time frame. You could see all of them are green, but you could see that some of them are in conflict. A lot of them are overextended or now going into red. So it's showing you that a lot of the trend has pretty much moved, and, uh, and that's showing you that we're pretty much overextended now. And you could see that that's from the uh, E-mini S&P 5, sorry, from the Dow Futures. That's why we're at the major resistance level moving there. Now, if you look at the uh, country ETFs, same thing. Look at all the country ETFs. We've been showing that they've been you know, trending drastically. Look at the daily time frame. Majority of them are all in the fives. Look at that. And they're all overextended except for one country, which is basically Spain, right? Outside of Spain, everything is overextended, so everything's been moving up as far as country ETFs are concerned. If you look at sectors, let's go look at sectors. If you look at sectors, you'll see that a lot of things are green, but they're yellow. 
So we're in a major, major overextension mode right now in almost everything out there from all the sectors, the whole nine yards. A couple of sectors are lagging right now in the daily time frame. You can see the telecom is still trying to catch up. Okay, you can see household goods are still trying to catch up, and the one that's really weak as far as the weekly is concerned is mining. And you could see that probably because of gold and silver, how drastically they went down. So it's still weak as far as the weekly is concerned, but the the daily and everything now is bullish and trying to influence this weekly and trying to push it to so it doesn't go green anymore and go sorry it goes red and it turns to green. Okay, and then you got the S and P 500. And even if you look at the S&P 500, look what you'll see. You'll see a lot of fives and yellows, which is basically showing you overextension. And if you look at the whole S&P 500, you'll see it. There's a lot of overextensions out there. And that's telling you that this market is extremely, extremely overextended right now. And you've got to be very, very, very careful right now. So this is why we're, we're telling people, tighten up your stops. Uh, if you still believe it's more upside into it or uh, take some profits out of your portfolio so instead of being 100% bullish maybe go down to being 20% bullish or something like that uh, or hedge it with options so do something to kind of make sure that you don't give your profits back to the market completely okay that's it for this week hope you enjoyed it I will speak to you guys next week here are my contact details again